गोवन इकनॉमी पर कैपिटा इनकम ऑफ गोवा सिक्सटी वन थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड एंड वन पर एन एम इन टू थाउजेंड टू 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 थाउजेंड थ्री हाइस्ट इट हैड हाइस्ट लिटरेसी रेट लोएस्ट बर्थ डेथ एंड इन्फेंट मोर्टेलिटी रेट हाइस्ट रोड नेटवर्क डेंसिटी हाइस्ट डॉक्टर टू पेशेंट रेशो हाइस्ट हॉस्पिटल बेड टू पॉपुलेशन रेशो फिफ्टी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ जी डी पी कम्स फ्रॉम टर्शरी सेक्टर एंड थर्टी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ जी डी पी फ्रॉम मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सेक्टर पॉवर्टी रेशो इन नाइनटीन नाइन्टी नाइन टू टू थाउजेंड वॉज फोर पॉइंट फोर परसेंट विच इज सेकेंड लोवेस्ट इन इंडिया डायनेस्टिस दैट रूल गोवा सो बोजास वॉज इन सेकेंड टू फिफ्थ सी ए डी दैट इज थ्री हंड्रेड ईयर्स दैट दे रूल Chalukyas were 500 to 750 AD, 250 years. Shilharas were 8th to 10th CAD, 200 years. Kadambas 1000 to 1300 AD, 300 years. Yadavas 1300 to 1360 AD, 60 years. Vijayanagars 1360 to 1470 AD, 110 years. Bahanani of 1470 to 1510 AD, 40 years, and Portuguese 1510 to 1961. That was 451 years. Goa became great trade center. Portuguese rule began in 1510 AD. Alfonso de Albuquerque captured Goa before Portugal discovered the sea route to India. Trade between the Orient and the rest of the world was monopolized by Arabs. The Arabs used to carry on trade through the sea route from India to the Persian Gulf of Hamiz and then by land to other areas. With the capture of Goa first and Daman and Diu later by Albuquerque, the source of trade of Arabs were cut off and Portugal took control of trade and built its empire. Goa was under Portuguese rule for 450 years. On 19 December 1961, the Indian troops entered Goa at various points and liberated Goa from Portuguese. It was Union territory till it became the 25th state of the Union of India on 30th May 1987. Goan economy on the eve of liberation. It was poor. Industrialization was at very low level. the two re- main reasons was portugal itself was less industrialized when compared to many other european countries and second portugal made sure that goa had plenty of consumer goods through trade the only industry that developed during the colonial period is mining that too only after 1950s other source of income during the portuguese rule were agriculture money order remittances from a- abroad income generated was used to finance heavy imports of food and other consumer goods there, there were hardly 50 small scale industrial units of keju processing couple of fruit skinning carbon dioxide plant a manglo tiles factory tire retreating unit laundry soap making unit investment in this was less as seasonal em- employment contributed only 7% of state's income Portuguese government did not pay any attention to the development of agriculture only two irrigation schemes were undertaken the construction of the kandapar canal around 1938 and paroda canal in 1950 recommendations to improve agriculture introducing mechanical cultivation control of pests use of organic fertilizers development of goan economy since liberation agriculture 60% of the total workforce in goa in 1960 was from agriculture 16.5% of net domestic income 31% of land under cultivation from 1997 to 98 net cultivation has increased to about 39% of the total land proportion of agriculture workers declined to 24% production of food grains has increased from 0.5 lakh tons in 1960 to 1.64 lakh tons in 19 98 to 99 
reasons for decline in agriculture large scale conversion of agricultural land for commercial and industrial purposes migration of people who earlier dependent on agriculture to other sectors like industry and tourism and even other countries like the gulf spread of education and the consequent dislike for agriculture as an occupation constantly rising cost output ratio which makes agriculture non viable for many people share of agriculture to total income of the state which had gone up to 35% in 1967 to 68 came down to 16% in 1980 and stands at about 15% now net zone area is 39% of the state and national it is 42% private owners 50 to 54% government 32% and komnidad 11% promulgation of tenancy act 1964 to give better deal to the tenants in the framework of socialistic pattern of the society adopted by the country to introduce the tenant to put in better effort by introducing the element of higher stakes in his activities cause of failure a large number of beneficiaries of the tenancy act are not cultivating their land kinds of agricultural practice in goa growing crops in morod land like those located in the high lying or terraced field as well as on the top of the hills and along the foothills this lands are relatively less fertile and not amenable to in- intensive intensive cultivation growing crops in kher land they are well drained highly textured sandy soil paddy is raised during monsoon followed by raising vegetation and other short duration crops crops on khazan land it involves use of land for raising crops as salt pens tribal and hill people of goa practice shifting uh, cultivation known as kumneri cultivation kumeri cultivation produces nashne millet and pulses kumeri cultivation involves felling of trees in an area putting fire to the dead vegetation planting or sowing seeds without plowing plowing weeding and harvesting The area of forest land cleared is cultivated for 2-3 years after which the plots are abandoned and new land is cleared for cultivation. Kumeri cultivation is discouraged because it involves felling of trees and clearing of forest land. Plantation crops of Goa, mango, coconut, cashew, red oil, red oil palm, bamboo, banana, largest plantation crop is cashew. animal husbandry livestock cattle is 89978 buffaloes 40222 pigs 105402 and other animals 92130 now these ratios are of the previous time not like the current updated ones schemes of adan pattern of dairy development initiated in 1963 to 64 one pilot pasteurization plant was established within a capacity of 2000 liters of milk modern plant at kurti ponda the capacity is 75000 liters per day and 50 mts of cattle feed per day government poultry farm functioning at elanio old goa objective of this is providing qualitative checks to the farms piggery farm at kurti ponda to produce qualitative pigs for distribution to farmers for breeding purpose slaughter house at uzgaon ponda capacity is slaughter 45000 animals per year mining half the iron ore exported from india originates from Uh, goa every year goa exports 13 million tons of iron ore and manganese ore other ores mined in goa bauxite limestone and dolomite mining operations are carried out in ghat and forested area first export first exporter of iron ore was in 1947 of 100 tons japan used to be major importer of goven iron ore followed by china and romania and south korea mechanized mining processes like hydraulic excavators front end loaders rippers dozers dumpers 
इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ माइनिंग सिंगल लार्जेस्ट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटर टू द जी डी पी अ लार्ज एम्प्लॉयमेंट हैज बिन जनरेटेड रोल इन क्रिएटिंग अ नेटवर्क ऑफ रोड इन द गार्ड रीजन ऑफ द स्टेट इनकम ऑफ इंडस्ट्री इज नाउ टेक्स एक्सेंटेड एनवायरमेंटल प्रॉब्लम्स कॉज ड्यू टू माइनिंग डिफॉरेस्टेशन माइनिंग कंपनीज फिल ट्रीज रेटलेसली विच लेड टू लॉस ऑफ प्रेशियस फॉरेस्ट कवर्स अंटिल द फॉरेस्ट कंजर्वेशन एक्ट नाइनटीन एटी वॉज इम्प्लीमेंटेड सेकेंड डिग्रेडेशन ऑफ लैंड दैट हैपन्स इन थ्री वेज लैंड एक्सकेवेटेड टू विन द ओवर टू गेट एट द माइनिंग टॉप सॉइल इज रिमूव एंड डिस्कार्डेड लैंड यूज फॉर डम्पिंग ओवर बर्डन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एसोसिएटेड एसोसिएट मिनरल रॉक्स एंड अदर मटेरियल्स इज रिमूव एंड डिस्कार्डेड ड्यूरिंग मॉनसून दिस ओवर बर्डन गेट्स वॉश डाउन इन टू रिवर्स एग्रीकल्चरल फील्ड सिल्टिंग रिवर बेड्स एंड डैमेजिंग क्रॉप्स एंड लास्टली लैंड डिग्रेडेड ड्यू टू माइनिंग एक्टिविटी मोर देन टेन थाउजेंड हेक्टर्स ऑफ लैंड इज माइनिंग डस्ट destruction of fresh ground water sources the initial deforestation and degradation and stripping of tropical top soil at the mining site reduces the filtration capacity of the soil and increases the runoff from the site this runoff washes away more soil degradation also increases evaporation from the soil the overlying materials in most mining area is laterite or lateritic soil which forms a continuous cap in the area caprock forms uh, attachment areas for trapping the monsoon water which is slowly released from the upper layer of the hills to the low lying areas where wells are located the removal of the caprock diminishes the supply of water to the wells pollution of water sources 10 mines in zuari basin and 27 mines in mandovi basin mining involves removal of overburden consisting of lateritic clay magniferous clay and phyllites heavy monsoon carries this to neighboring land and water system this causes pollution of water dust pollution villages like sabodem and kulsorem face dust pollution contributors of dust rehandling of ores for shipment by big barges movement of uh, numerous trucks carrying ores movement of other heavy machinery efforts to tackle the environmental problem by seza goa one of the leading mining company rehabilitated dumps and planted tree on it aim of this was to create resurgent vegetation which is mix of samplings planted including tamarind jackfruit mango cajus etc efforts are also made to utilize water collected in the open cast pits fishing coastline of goa is 105 km inland waterways there are seven rivers which is 250 km in length tanks covering more than 100 hectares amount uh, about 50000 people depend on fish harvesting for a living most popular fish in goa is mackerel followed by sardine together 70% of oceanic catch other popular species is kingfish pomfret in 1994 17153 tons fish exported at 65 crore and in 2004 8856 tons at 39 crore most of the exports are to the eastern countries traditional methods of fish preservation replaced by cold storage facilities causes of diminishing returns and resources indiscriminate fishing activity before liberation during month of june july and august was strictly and and forced as it was spawning period for most varieties of fish by this ban fish could naturally multiply trawling in shallow waters most trawlers in goa are within 5 fathom area hardly ventures beyond 10 fathoms area is an adequate that is results in overfishing in shallow area trawling in shallow waters with the help of accessories result in dredging the sit seabed destruction of fish eggs and nutrients it has prevented natural biological regeneration of species use of fishing nets with mesh size lower than 24 mm 
if mesh size is low smaller fish is gets caught if this is enforced strictly smaller fish will grow to its optimum size operation of unjustifiably large fleet of mechanized craft according to coastline 315 trawlers in reality there are 1128 remedial measures strict implementation on ban on fishing activity during month of june july and august control of mesh size of fishing net restriction on trawling in shallow waters near the shore timing trawlers in their fishing expeditions by regulating number of trawlers inland fishing kazan land covers area of 18000 hectares and can be exploited in a planned and systematic manner for pc culture few model prawn farms have come up especially in south goa industry at time of liberation this was the weakest sector offices of the small industry service institute maharashtra small scale industry development corporation were opened in goa directorate of industries were activated financial institution established offices in goa industrial development bank of india industrial finance corporation small industries development bank of india goa daman and dew industrial development corporation was established the responsibility was providing build up sheds developed plots supply of adequate water power and communication first industrial estate in goa was 1966 at kollam near old goa by 1998 GDDIDC established 18 industrial estate accommodating 1500 units largest industrial estate is at verna it is 290 hectares on 31st march 2004 1062 factories registered under the factory act 1948 from this 770 were in operation 154 were large or medium scale they provided direct employment to 22560 6714 small scale industries that employed 46163 people the contribution of the industrial sector to goa's gdp increased from rupees 2.22 crore in 1967 68 to rupees 853 in 1999 uh, 1997 to 98 uh, currently it contributing more than 30% gdp Industrial sector in Goa: electronics, software, pharmaceutical, automobile accessories, consumer goods, fertilizers, tires and tubes, cements, etc. Growth of industries is possible because of excellent infrastructure. International airport at Dabolim. It facilitates for charter flights and cargo handling. All weather natural harbor at Mormuga with multi-purpose general cargo berth. Natu- national highways 4A and 17. Dense network of roadways and railways. Abundant power, water and skilled manpower. Excellent communication network and most peaceful industrial relation. Multinational companies in Goa. Aventis Pharma Limited, Abbott Pharmaceuticals Limited, Bats India Limited. BLRs Molders Private Limited, Sipla Limited, Colcon Asia Private Limited, Control Net I Limited, Dealing India Limited, Dura Line Private Limited, Hindustan Coca Cola Beverage Private Limited, Kodak India Limited, Lenson Pharmaceuticals Private Limited, Pentair Water India Private Limited, Siemens Limited. Ratio for now German remedies, information technology policy, salient features. Information technology of Goa will develop IT related infrastructure and it enables services to as also important e governance objective of the government. The software technology of Park of India. 
will be provided all facilities for development of high speed data communication facilities in the state the goa education development corporation will promote schemes for preparation of graduates for the knowledge based economy and society for increasing it literacy among the people and for development of e learning software provision of e infrastructure like high speed connectivity setting up of so special economic zone providing all government services through e governance application incentives for unit making investment in it or it tes sector all incentives available under the industrial policy 2003 applicable to it it tes units registered with itg special treatment to it it tes unit involving investment exceeding rupees 500 or creating employment of more than 1000 in the case of it and 1500 in the case of ites preparation of skill database special incentive for employment of locals reimbursement of stem duty rebate in power tariffs incentives to promote research activity incentives to training institution food processing industries like cashew nut syrups cashew feni bakery products coconut feni soft drink sugar gur squashes vinegar jam pickle and ice cream proposal to set up food processing park at betul it will house 20 units with the capacity to employ 1000 people role of small scale industries in goa industries like bakeries aerated water wood work conversion of paper into paper products printing fabrication workshop etc reduce unemployment glory inequality of income glaring inequality of income factors that make the ssi unit grow and face the challenge of globalization adequate provision of credit services technology assistance infrastructure and low transaction cost cottage industrial handicrafts pottery and terracotta items like flower garden pots bowl with floral design figures of saints gods and goddesses ashtrays and pen holders brass metal ware craft utensils of utility made of sheet metal products of brass metal casting including oil lamps in various designs candles stand temple towers church bell and ashtrays etc wooden square uh, ware or wood turning like cradles baby carts toys uh, corner stand crochet and embroidery product like table cloth children and ladies garment pillow and cushion cover linen bamboo craft like pen stand flower basket nets letter holder paper decorative items fiber crafts were of two type banana fiber or sisal fiber it made shopping bags ladies purses coasters wall hanging jute macrame craft decorative bags belts wall hanging lamp shades flower pots hangers etc seashell craft ashtrays lamp shade coasters chandeliers curtains spot hangers table mats clocks mirror frames coconut mask cravings done on coconut sick units or closed units on 31st march 2001 6157 registered units were there from which 4842 units were surveyed and from that 2803 was closed and 2039 working cause for industrial sickness in goa non availability or high cost of raw material shortage or high cost of labor especially skilled labor distance from major markets and the restaurant difficulties and the resultant difficulties in processing raw material and marketing finished good opening up the indian economy and globalization reduction in import duties removal of most of the important restriction industrial policy in goa salient features emphasizes on employment generation preservation of environment achievement of balanced growth provision of efficient system of appropriate and improvement of the infrastructure policy encourages setting up of industries like it electronic food processing pharmaceutical light engineering like electrical and biotechnology tourism 
from period of 1972 to 2004 the number of domestic tourists visited goa increased from 35000 to 1 lakh 17 lakh 25000 Number of foreign tourists visiting Goa increased from 6000 to 3 lakh 20000 total tourist in Teswadi Bardesh Salset and Mormugaon is 93% in 1985 to 86 3568 tourists arrived by 24 charter flights in 2002 to 2001 1 lakh 16992 tourists arrived by 419 flights and in 2002 to 3 number came down to 72530 importance of tourism development of hotel industry growth of eateries the small shops selling various items taxi trade and so on some let out portion of the, their houses during tourist season some people have built backyards which let out room problems related to tourism hotels have construction very close to the seashore often blocking traditional access to the beach so also shakes and eateries pollution of the beaches result from indiscriminate spreading of litter and letting out of drainage water a considerable section of local population has ended up becoming Uh, economically dependent of tourism in many cases people have tended to neglect their traditional occupation like agriculture in their bid to make a living out of tourism commercialization of culture over exploitation of community resources exposure to evils like drugs as well as diseases like aids eco tourism and agro eco tourism moving away from beaches to countryside and promoting tourism in an ecologically sustainable manner it will boost socio economic status of local farmers while fulfilling the wanderlust of tourists into greenery of goa measures to boost agro eco tourism making forest more accessible certification of product of local farmers propagating various exotic plants and trees a uh, promoting past timers like pottery making wood and stone craving and so on about 10 farmers from kurti usgaon keri and savoy vere have taken up agro eco farms generally called spice farms hinterland tourism remote areas it will uh, boost states agriculture and local farmers adventure tourism rock climbing hang gliding glider flying water sports like under surfing snorkeling jet skiing dugi boarding scuba diving uh, water skiing parasailing and uh, deep sea fishing monsoon tourism goa has beautiful islands waterfalls lakes dams and wildlife sanctuaries that can be enjoyed during monsoon leisure and entertainment crocodile watching river cruise bird watching kerala academy swimming action sports movie theaters casinos disco tricks uh, gardens and parks crocodile watching at kumbarzua canal bird watching at dr salim ali bird sanctuary on shorav island wetlands at karambolam at shiroda bonla and other wildlife sanctuaries and morjim beach it is also for, famous for turtles a swimming long stretches of beaches rivers and lakes offer opportunity for swimming action sports water scooters and go karts casinos fast um, floating casinos few others are like gaming halls slot machine and bar this good is party zone holiday in resort aqua the lila adeja taj exotica all these are top goa night clubs river cruise boat tours for sunset views crocodile or dolphin spotting kala academy dinanath mangeshkar kala mandir open air arena and library performance concerts to play exhibitions movie theater inox multiplex benjim osha multiplex margao and shivam theater vasco garden and parks there are many well maintained parks or gardens Human Resource Development 2001 Census of Goa's population is 13 lakh 47,668 with 6 lakh 87,248 males and 6 lakh 60,420 females. 
the per present rate is lowest in the country and can be attributed to the small family and late marriage norms adopted by goans high rate of literacy among females have acted as contributing factors to the low birth rate sex ratio in goa in 1960 1960 to 2000 in 2001 it was 960 and 99 in 1991 it was 967 density of population 15364 square kilometer in goa and national it was 324 goan commun- communities hindu 64.68% christian 29.86% muslim 5.25% and other communities 0.03% education professional colleges engineering medical dental itis management institute law college catering institute employment percentage of educated uh, unemployment is quite high and need to be tackled migrant laborer causes growth of mining fast spread education education imparted in goa had no jobs in industry people took up government and teaching jobs youth who were educated refused to pursue traditional vocation of their family as they got superiority complex and looked down upon manual labor goan youth migrate to other countries to fill this gap migrant laborers has rushed extent of migrant laborer 50000 migrant employee construction activity industrial trainee security guard watchmen are from north india manual workers in steel rolling mills are from bihar uttar pradesh and madhya pradesh door to door collection home nurses are mostly from kerala domestic help from up bihar orissa and jharkhand problems related to migrant laborer increase in pressure on economy housing se- housing sanitation water supply transport and health services have to bear greater burden increase crime especially theft and robbers increase slum and settlement lack of sanitation e- increases epidemics like malaria employment subsidy all manufacturing units in specific categories in the small medium and large scale including sick unit under revival plan will be covered for the purpose of subsidy salient features of employment subsidy new units having 75% of local manpower employment amongst its permanent employee are eligible subsidy ranges from 10 to 35% depending upon category to location subsidy would be applicable to employees whose gross salary is less than 10000 per month subsidy will be for period of 5 years new units and existing would be 2 to 4 years goan economy and infrastructure is physical and fickle power transport communication water roads rails and fickle banking and insurance power in 1961 only seven municipal towns were electrified by means of diesel generating sets with a total generating capacity of only 5.5 mw there were only 6000 consumers today there are 38 3 lakh 80 thousand consumers annual per capita consumption has increased from 13 kilowatt to over 800 kilowatt national average is about 300 kilowatts a power plant put up by reliance salgaonkar limited with an in- install capacity of 48 mw has already gone on stream industrial sector accounts 60% of power consumed water during liberation only few towns were covered with water supply from water treatment plant at opa it was com- uh, commissioned in 1956 water supply schemes in goa at chandel pednem opa ponda asnora bardes area dabosa is bicholem chapoli kankona salaulim sangem anjunem keri and sapli rural water supply schemes draw water from wells and 
bore wells, spot sources like lakes and small rivers. Total availability of potable water is 394 MLT. Requirement for business establishment like hotels, industries, establishment and construction sector is met by water supply by private tankers. Goa receives an average rainfall of 3000 mm per annum. If rainwater is harnessed properly it can meet domestic and industrial needs for this proper planning is required transport it has 1113 kilometers of road for 1000 square kilometer of area at national level it has 227 kilometer for every 1000 square kilometer it is estimated that there is one vehicle for four people in goa and all india level one vehicle for 26 people 55 vehicles per each kilometer length of road in goa against national 15 vehicles national highway 4a and 17 pass through goa heavy population leads to congestion in roads and blockage of traffic railway in goa south central railway and konkan railway International Airport at Dabolim, All Weather Natural Harbour at Mormugao. It can accommodate over 50 ships in an anchorage. The port has loading facility on oil berth and a general cargo berth. Minor ports in Goa, Panjim, Old Goa and Betur. Communication, BSNL has 125 telephone exchanges, 5 uh, tele exchanges, uh, Cable network 8600 kilometers include an OFC network of 1041 kilometers. Telephone connections 189,956 in 2003. Goa is second state to achieve 100% automation in telephone switching system, 259 post offices and 69 telegraph offices in March 2003. Internet service through optical fiber broadband from BSNL. Cellular operators like BSNL, Reliance, Idea, Airtel, BPL, Hutch, Tata, Indicom, all those are like old. The data is old as I said. GSM and CDMA networks are available. Healthcare, it is a three-tier system, sub-center, primary health center and community health center. 19 public health centers, 13 with attached hospital, 172 sub-centers and 29 rural medical dispensaries. There are two district hospital, Auspicio Hospital Margao and Asilo Hospital Mapsa. There are three specialized or general hospital, leprosy hospital, TB hospital and cottage hospital Chikale. Goa Medical College provides specialized healthcare and medical education and Goa Dental Healthcare and Dental College Hospital provides specialized dental healthcare and dental education. There is Institute of Psychiatry and Human Behavior, Private Hospitals 119 at end of 2003. Apollo, Victor, Apollo, NUSI, uh, Vintage Hospital in Penjay, Manipal, Goa Hospital at Dona Paula, Brundavan Hospital in Mapsa. Total number of government hospitals uh, 2841 and private 2164. Banking and finance there is bank branch for every 3000 person per capita deposits is about 70,000. Central and state government institution provide credit services to the industrial sector in Goa. The Economic Development Corporation of Goa Daman and Dew, the Goa Daman and Dew Industrial Development Corporation, the Goa Handicraft Rural and Small Scale Industry Development Corporation, the Goa Industrial Development Corporation, the Industrial Development Bank of India, the Maharashtra Industrial and Technical Consultancy Organization, the Maharashtra State Financial Corporation, the National Small Industry Corporation, the Small Industrial Development Bank of India, the Small Industry Service Institution. In 2002 to 2003, there were 2,035 cooperative societies, 87 service cooperative, 96 consumer cooperative, 158 dairy cooperative and 1,691 others. Construction, housing and real estate. Second largest employer, construction sector. It supports more than 250 industrial sector like steel, cement, tiles, wood, bricks furniture, paints, pipes, sanitary, it, uh, sanitary wear. It generates revenue for the government by the way of license fee, conversion fees, taxes, etc. It also 
attracts foreign exchanges through investment made by NRIs. Main characteristic of real estate and industry, fragmented national or even regional player, capital intensive, high investment from buyers, multiple decision maker, mostly once in a lifetime purchase, significant role for intermediary risk relator broker etc movement away from a seller to buyer market housing industry to following social needs residential unit commercial units like shops offices industrial sector like sheds workshops institutional demands love schools hospital tourism sector hotels restaurants resorts entertainment sector like theaters multiplexes amusement parks major sh- stakeholders of real estate construction and housing government local authorities village panchayats builders developers or contractors dwellers raw material suppliers finances architectures and engineers housing requirement of goa today is 3 lakh unit Komnedads and Goan economy, also called Gaukaris, they are an old indigenous Indian association or community of village established by original inhabitant thousands of years ago. It is believed Gaukars are creation of Saraswat Brahmins who migrated to Goa before Vaitan invasion. North India in 5th century AD Komnidat consists of definite boundaries of land from village to village with its topographical and geographical details recorded it has its own management and social religious and cultivation interaction at present 223 komnidas with three zones north south and central they are headed by the administrator appointed by the government other categories like kulcharis kuntakars and pensioners pensioners were probably villagers inhabitants who lost gaukar status because they were descendant through female of village gaukar is a male descendant through male descendants of uh, founding father of village kulcharis were servants of the rulers of the area who settled in the village as educator or bureaucrats and were able to make members of the community due to the influence kurtekas were artisans by the village most important feature of komnida that it owned all the land in the village which is not owned by private families it administered the land by auctioning the cultivation right of paddy fields or harvesting rights of its plantation of coconut cashew or mangoes for 3 year period this auction provided 80 to 90% of income of komnidas this income was used to pay the land tax to the government provide community service maintain religious places administer the komnidas properties repay loan build financial reserves and pay dividend to shareholders the dividends or zonas of the zone was a key feature of komnidas system they were called zonas or zoneros since komnidas owned 40% of landmass they provided landless rural laborers with opportunities for unemployment komnidas used to spend 20 to 25% of its annual income on property development work like lining paddy fields with laterite blocks to enable flooding lining water courses installing uh, gates and allocating harvest water planting orchards of long maturing trees like coconuts mango and cashew and experimented with new agriculture species motto of komnidad harmonious existence of society in sort of cooperative form of all social elements and accepting the head of the state as supreme arbiter tries to settle all dispute problem faced by komnidad office of the administrator is used as backdoor entry to gain control over the komnidad enroachment has been placed in many komnidad lands illegal construction has come up